You're seeing the warfare between good and evil? No. Oh. It's all about it. All it. I th everything that's going on right now is good and evil. Absolutely. All the yeah. political war. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. They want to kill Trump. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they want to have sin. That's right. that's they the want to kill line. their babies. <laughs> right. mi a million women are getting ready to march in Washington, D.C. right after the inauguration so that they can kill their babies. Mm. Who? I'm telling you, people, yes. give me a Bible. If it was in the Bible that King, you know, went and, mm. and killed babies mm -hmm. uh, and, and that the women of the city marched, a million women marched yeah. to the right to kill their own babies. Women don't do that mm -hmm. if it's normal. It's true. Women fight to save their babies. It's true. That's natural. You want to wow. know why wow. I know Donald Trump is born again? Because I talk personally to Paula White. And Paula White has personally prayed with him, not just him, the family. And she ministers to them through their trials. For how many years has it been, Lord? Like Do you have any? 15 at least. Yeah, I think about 15 mm -hmm. years she's been ministering to him behind the scene, preparing him for presidency of the United mm -hmm. States. Come on, stop your judging. Yeah. Just yeah. say, God, you take care. You judge it, God. Yeah. Yeah. You judge them all. Good. And you, oh. you let, let God handle it. God's a big God. And, you know, look at, okay. way, looking way to the future, you've heard of the Bush dynasty. Maybe we'll see a Trump <laughs> dynasty. Because I've actually heard some of the people that are really connected yeah. to uh, the, the Trump family have even yeah. told me that Eric Trump is a firm believer in Jesus. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. what is the Lord planning? Yeah. Exciting times. That's right. what do you, oh, I was just going to say, uh, tagging on to that, I've been thinking along those lines. That's why I think the demonic powers represented in the flesh and the globalist community mm -hmm. are freaking out yeah, totally. because of what he possibly represents, mm -hmm. not only in his own family, but think of this. So he goes in, now we're just speaking politically and humanly, but it ties in very spiritually. So if he goes in four years and he's appointing Supreme Court judges and federal courts, and you probably heard about the Ninth District Court of Appeals, that there are judges getting ready to be uh, retired off of there. And so that's the most liberal uh, co uh, federal court system in America, and he could reappoint and change the whole uh, the, the whole atmosphere of the federal courts, but he could do that in four years. What if he goes in for eight? And what if Pence comes in behind him for four years or for eight years? That could be 16 years. What if his people in his own family? I mean, they're watching this, and they're watching the building of the wall and the doing away with Obamacare and the, the yeah. rule of law returning and fighting abortion, and, right. and all of these things could go Amen. on could go on for, for years and years and years.